hello everybody welcome back to my channel so today um i was coming to you with a story time um, yesterday my brother reached out to me and he actually showed me a screenshot from his ring camera where ring is offering um a prize for a video of your ghost you can enter your um ghost videos like if you were to cat capture a ghost on your rain camera you can enter that video into a drawing to win a prize now it doesn't have to be a real ghost they are just asking for ghosts um you know ghosts any ghost that has been caught on camera so that could be somebody dressed in a costume or what you um may think is a real ghost or whatever so that being said um i was telling him about a couple of ghost stories that i remember from so once he mentioned that to me it brought to my um my memory or brought back to my memory some ghost stories from when i lived in my old house so me and my kid's father, we bought this house in 2010. And it was a house built in like 1997. So it's had a few owners. But um, when we moved into that house, shortly after we moved there, probably about um, a few months, he had gone on a trip to um, back to his home state. So it was just me and my oldest at the time. She was like almost one, not quite one yet. Because like I said, it's 2010. She born in 2009. Um, but we were in the house by ourselves one night. And I know I was dreaming. And in my dream, I could, you know, you hear something. And I felt like I was waking up out of my dream. But I was still hearing what I was hearing in my dream, which was like a doorknob, like turning, wiggling, and jiggling as if somebody was trying to get into the room. So I had woken all the way up. And I was just looking around the room. And I could still hear this noise doorknob to the room. Because um, where Amora and I was sleeping at in our master bedroom, that door was closed. I always sleep with the bedroom door closed, especially since he wasn't there. I even had the door locked so I could hear it like jiggling wiggling somebody trying to get in and like I said I laid there for a few minutes and I'm just listening to this door turn and jiggle and I got scared because I'm oh my god I'm awake I'm still hearing this so it must be real I called the cops y'all now I called the police because I was so scared and the cops came um, the 911 operator stayed on the line with me and she was telling me, you know, they are there. If you feel like you need to run out of the room, just run. But um, they are outside. Run to your front door and open the door. Cops searched the perimeters, went into the backyard. Um, there was no broken, busted windows, doors. Nobody had broken into the house. Um, so they just told me maybe I just was having a bad dream, but y'all know. I know what I heard. I was wide awake and I was still hearing this somebody jiggling with me trying to get into that door. So that was our first experience with a ghost or paranormal activity in the house. The second experience was when, um, again, Amora and I, because you know, Avery is seven years younger. So it was just Amora, me, and her dad for a long time. So again, one night at the house uh, we were getting the floors done at the house so i believe the floors in one of the bedrooms was getting done so we took everything out of that room and we put it into the um living room so all the it was boxes of stuff just a lot of stuff that we moved from one room to the other room he went to the store me and amora was in her room watching tv doing something again door shut we could hear footsteps like like hard like it was like not like knocking but like heavy footsteps and it was like shuffling like somebody kicking and moving stuff because like i said we had a lot of stuff like sitting in the living room and it's like the stuff was being kicked or pushed or move around and you could hear the heavy footsteps because these again were like um hardwood floors so you're going to hear everything on those floors so we were like oh you know he's back already that was really really fast we thought her dad had came back from the store already so we went out there and we were looking for him and we we're like hey you know you're back already and we were excited 
and nobody was there. Nobody was there. So we got scared. We ran back into the room, and I asked more. I'm like, excuse me, more. You heard that, didn't you? She's like, yeah. I mean, I, I heard it too. At that point, more probably was like four or five, maybe. She's like, yeah, mommy, I heard it too. So we both looked at each other and we were scared. So we ran back into the room, locked the door. Again, no open windows, doors, everything locked. We had cameras, we had alarms. So I know nobody came in that house while he was gone. I looked out the window, his car was still gone. So I called him, he was like, oh, I just got into a checkout line at Walmart. I'm like, what? We just heard somebody walking in the house. He was like, well, couldn't have been me, you know? So I was so scared. And each time these incidents happen, I would be scared for a little bit. Then as the days go on, you know, you get less afraid. So I was calm and, you know, it didn't bother me as much. But yeah, y'all. So just wanted to share that because, you know, it's Halloween time almost. And, you know, my brother mentioned that to me about the ghost stories. And I was telling him these two stories on yesterday. So just wanted to share that information with you guys. So I thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. Bye. Oh, yeah. Let me know your ghost stories in the comments. Bye.